Now, so there's four of these. If you guys remember, mean. You're a mean chick. Hi, cute pigs. Muffin. Hey, farm fam. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome and welcome to today's vlog. Hi, Dinky. I am here with the goats, and we are vlogging it today, but. We had so much rain last night, so it's a very, very gloomy, gloomy day. Minnie is the videographer right now. Hi, videographer. Dinky, are you excited for today's vlog? If you guys are excited for today's vlog, make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. It's a very, very gloomy day because we had one of the worst rainstorms of this year last night. Totally unexpected. And it was like a thunder or lightning storm. It was so loud. It woke me up at five in the morning because it was just so loud and so frightening. And I was like looking out my window because the horses are in the pasture at night. It was very scary. It was very scary, but I do have some exciting news to tell you guys today in this vlog. So I know you guys can tell from the title that I have that news. I'm not withholding that news, but it is gonna come a little bit later in this vlog. Dickie almost ran me over because I really need to do something first. And I'm about to show you that. But the exciting news is going to benefit these little goats, this donkey, actually everybody in this barn. Little goat, do you wanna come in? All right, you guys can come in. It looks like it's gonna rain. It actually looks like it's gonna rain all day because it rained all night. But it's probably best. They're like, I need to come in. Hi, Mimi. Everyone's been liking the rocks. We've had the rocks in now for about a week. And it's looking really good. What you guys doing? Dinky comes in starts to cause trouble. All right, goats, get in your stall. Minnie's trying to fight Mike. Per usual. Literally. Always trying to fight. So what I need to do first is I actually need to put my saddle in a box because I'm getting rid of my saddle. I've had my saddle for maybe six months or so and I'm actually supposed to go on a trail ride tomorrow morning. So I haven't been using a saddle, but tomorrow's trail ride actually was gonna be needing a saddle. So I might need to pull out one of my older saddles, but I am actually sending this saddle back to the company that I bought it from and I'm trading it for a different saddle. So. Yeah, it's a never ending journey of finding the right saddle that I want. So I need to take my girth off. Let's see if I can do this with one hand, probably. And just like that, it's off. So everything is now stripped from the saddle. That was easy because I really don't have anything on this saddle, like I don't keep breast collars on this saddle or anything like that, or back cinches. So we got a big box and here is the box. And I hope that the saddle will fit in it. So we need to package the saddle up together really quick. So we're gonna see if it will fit now. Dinky hates saddles, she's so weird about them. All right, let's see if it fits. Is that good? It can come forward a little bit more. There we go. Looks good. Now we just have to pack it with stuff so it has a safer ride and then Close it up, but it fits. It's a pretty big box. If we can see, look how dirty Cash is. That's because he was out last night during the storm and then obviously he rolled. And last night definitely was a rude awakening of how we need to really get fully prepared for rainy season because it is quickly approaching. So if you guys didn't see my last vlog, we were working on the barn to prepare it for the summer. So if you watched my last vlog, you'll know that we have been working on getting this barn ready for summer. So that's what we did in my last vlog. And then in my next vlog, we're working on getting the farm ready for hurricane season because it's coming quick and it's supposedly, we're supposed to have a lot of hurricanes this year. Cash keeps trying to bite me, my goodness. So you really wanna watch us getting the farm ready for hurricane season because we have to do a bunch of stuff. But I want to walk over to my chicken coop really quick 
because I wanted to show you how some of my chicks are growing out. Hi, piggies. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Pig. That was the worst thunderstorm last night in these little pigs' life. The three of breakfast trio. They had a crazy night, I'm sure. It was crazy out, wasn't it? The sky literally lit up from the lightning. Hi, cute pigs. Muffin! Hi, Waffle. Hi, Pancake. Mr. Pig! So all of the pigs, speaking of, they, we've noticed that the little pig we went there, that the three little pigs and Mr. Pig all go in there together. Good night, Mr. Pig. So we are definitely ordering another um, pig loo because they obviously really like it. So we'll be ordering another pig loo before rainy season comes because this structure does keep them out of the rain, but it's not like fully enclosed. So I'm sure if the rain is coming at an angle, they're definitely getting um, wet, but their pen does not look wet in there. But when they go into their pigloo, the pigloo is fully enclosed. So they need the opportunity to get away and go in that pigloo. So I think maybe getting two more pigloos will be good. Don't you think? And then um, the cows were all huddled up in here. So they were doing fine during the rain. I really like them to be able to have this stall all the time, so we're definitely not going to be putting anything else in this stall other than this is going to be the space for the cows to be able to get out of the rain and that's final. <laughs> so we did do some work to the chicken coop and I'm trying my best not to show you guys because that's in my next vlog when we get the farm ready for hurricane season. I actually went live on TikTok the other day and um, exposed it, but that's fine. I'm going to not show you though. You guys will see my next vlog but I really want to show you my little juvenile chick. But the upgrade that we did do to the chicken coop is definitely gonna help during hurricane season. So, and the chickens are really liking it. So I was able to capture one of my juveniles. So there's four of these, if you guys remember. Mean, you're a mean chick. Did you guys see that? He just tried to peck me. Well, he did peck me. So this is one of the four of them. So we just released these. And these are my leg horns and I have four of them. It turns out a long time ago when I asked if you guys could guess if they were hens or if they were gonna end up roosters and the verdict is in that I'm pretty sure that three of them are in fact roosters and one is a hen. <laughs> good night bird. So yeah, they have been out for about four days now so they're doing really good. They've acclimated well with the flock. Franny, what do you think? Franny! Oh. Chick, 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 Franny! <laughs> oh. What are you doing? Oh. So the chickens are loving their upgrade over here, I think, but you guys won't be seeing that in this video, but just so you know, the next video, Oh, Franny's getting beat up. Mike, save your chicken. But just so you know, we have done a little upgrade for the chickens and they are liking it and their space looks really cool. But it'll help them for the hurricane season, I think. Let's hope. Now that we've visited everyone, back to the barn we go. Oh, but wait, I need to show you guys something. So like I said, we had a really, really bad rainstorm, lightning storm yesterday night and um the horses ended up getting out of their pasture out of one gate they're not gonna do that again but um they ended up walking over to my front porch and i'm going to show you the little gift that they left us this morning so this is what they did and i have to clean it now but they destroyed my plant so my plant right there has been destroyed by them so this basically is the soil from the plant and then this is a big pile of poop that was looking a little bit different, but the chickens like literally scattered it. So a lot of fun. Now we're going back to the barn. And poor Dinky also was out in the thunderstorm last night by herself. Typically she goes up with the horses at night and then during the day she's in the back with, with the goats. But last night she didn't want to come up. So hey, she ended up being all by herself in the back 
during the crazy lightning storm. So maybe next time she'll actually come up and go with the boys so that she doesn't have to be through a scary thunderstorm by herself. All right, Dinky? Are you traumatized? But we do have a different solution for that with my big news I'm gonna tell you guys. <laughs> right, Dinky? Right? Aw, oh, look how cute you guys are. Are you guys tired from getting chased around by Dinky all day today? I'm sure you are. And like I said in the beginning of this video, the big news is gonna be really good for them and everybody else. Before we start the big news, I miss June, but we're gonna be using her stall, for example, today because she's not here, so we might as well let her be included in on the action by helping us tell the big news. So the big news that I wanna tell you guys is back in 2020, we built this barn and one of the major things that we wanted to do at that time just wasn't feasible we wanted to get the horses in and we wanted just to complete the project of the barn and just do small things throughout it that was like the pavers up front um making the additional stall for the goats but we wanted it to be but other than that we wanted it to be fully functional for the horses and not be working on any projects so now it's going on almost two years isn't that crazy so um, the end of this year will be two years of when we had finished the barn. So we are actually doing a really big improvement to the barn that I said is going to help everybody in this barn. And I'm going to use the words of what they're called and then I'll explain to you guys what exactly I mean by that. So we are finally getting Dutch doors. Yay, I'm so excited you guys. So let me explain exactly what they are. But like I said, we need to let June in on the action. So we need to use her stall for example purposes. So I'm in the back of her stall right now and right here in this area is where the Dutch door is going to go. So yes, it's a door and why it's going to be super beneficial for everybody in this barn is because they will have access to go into their stalls and come out of their stalls technically 24 seven. So I know I'm jumping around because I'm just really excited, but let me explain what the Dutch door is and then I'll explain how it's going to benefit everyone in the barn specifically. Basically the concept of the Dutch door is that the top can open on its own and then the bottom can open on its own or it can open together as one tall normal door. So if the top opens up on its own then it's like a window. So the stalls will finally have windows but they'll also have the option of it being a door. So when the horses are in the stalls and I want them to just be in their stalls their top door will be open so they'll have a window but then if they're out and I want them to have access to come in especially during rainy season then the whole door will be open and they will have access to basically come into their stall get out of the rain and walk back out so now that you know exactly what a Dutch door is I'm gonna pop up a couple pictures right here so you guys understand what a Dutch door does I'm gonna explain to you exactly how awesome and beneficial this is going to be during hurricane season and really throughout the year for each particular animal when it pertains to this barn so we're getting a total of five Dutch doors we have five stalls yes we have the goat stall which makes six stalls but I'll explain <laughs> so on this side of the barn we're getting one Dutch door for June, one Dutch door for Louie, and one Dutch door for Trigger. And then on this side of the barn, like I said, we have five Dutch doors that we are getting. So Blaze will get his own Dutch door and Cash will get his own Dutch door. The only one that's not gonna get their own Dutch door is going to be the goats. Just because of how our barn is set up, the Dutch doors are gonna be in the middle of each stall. And technically there's no middle to this stall. There's a support beam in the middle of it. So the goats aren't going to get a Dutch door. And plus, we don't know if this is gonna be a permanent shelter, if one day we'll change something. Who really knows? But we do know that the horse stalls are always gonna be the horse stalls. All of the horses now with the Dutch doors are gonna have the option when it's super sunny out to come in and get out of the sun without us putting an actual structure in our pasture because we really have thought about this and we don't wanna lose any of our pasture. So putting a structure causes us to lose some of the pasture. So we were trying to figure out how to make this make sense. And we already have this big barn and we should use it for as much as that we can. So with the Dutch doors, it allows them to come in and that would be their shelter to get out of the sun. And then they can go right back out and be free roaming and grazing 24 seven. And then when I wanna lock them up and them be just in the barn, they can have their window and it's gonna make a lot more breezeway in this barn, which is really needed. So that's for the sun and then especially for the rain as well. But now the solution with the goats. Again, we really did not wanna give up any space in the pasture for another pen 
because we actually really like the goats being in the barn. We feel it's really safe at night for them to be in here. So if they had a pen out there, they would have to just be locked up outside of this barn. And I just didn't love that idea. Guys, the rain is coming. We're about to go through a rainstorm right now. We've been interrupted by the rainstorm. I wanted to show you guys my chickens taking cover though. So cute. Good little chickens. They went underneath the horse trailer. Anyways, it's still raining. So hopefully you guys will be able to hear me if the rain doesn't get too loud. But with the goats, the goats will always go in this back pasture, whether there's horses back there with them. The goats will always be in this back pasture just because we specifically fence this back pasture for goats. It's very goat friendly. So since these two stalls will have Dutch doors, that's our solution to the goats getting out of the rain and the heat or the sun, whichever elements they're trying to get out of, they just want to rest those doors will be open for them to run into during rainy season so that we don't have to build a structure out there for them. They can be in the barn nice and cozy. And also Diggy can get out of the elements whenever she wants as well with the use of the Dutch doors. So that's our solution is we have always really, really wanted Dutch doors so that we could have that option of all of the horses coming in and leaving um, to get out of the element. So I'm super excited about this. I've wanted Dutch doors for so long now. It's always been a dream to have Dutch doors in a barn. To have a barn with Dutch doors was just a crazy dream. And like I said, we are building my dream barn and it doesn't stop until it's obviously exactly where we want it to be or as close as we can get to where we can get it to be. So you guys will definitely be seeing another like official part of the Building the Barn series. I've added a couple parts here and there to it that we're just doing things around it and small additions, but this is going to be like exactly produced how it was when we did the whole barn series. But let's walk outside really quick. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how the Dutch doors will technically look on the outside. So I'm out here in this very rainy, wet pasture. And here's the side of the barn. There's the side of the barn. And I'm going to pop up for you guys a quick little Photoshop of what it would look like with Dutch doors. So on this side, there's gonna be three Dutch doors. And when you guys see the color of the Dutch doors that we do in the beginning, it might be a little bit weird, but we are gonna be painting the barn. So we're getting our Dutch doors to go with the color of the new color of what the barn will be when we paint the barn. So that's my big news, you guys. I'm so excited. I've been waiting to share this with you guys. I guess I've actually been waiting for the moment to share this with you guys when we were actually getting Dutch doors. I wanted these for so long. I still see in my comments to this day, almost two years later asking when are we ever gonna get the Dutch doors and I was always wondering the same thing and we we're finally able to do it. So I'm so excited, I cannot wait. So my next video or maybe the next one after that will be getting the farm ready for hurricane season and we'll touch base on the Dutch doors and see if they're here yet or not. They probably won't be, but just know that the Dutch doors are gonna really make this barn and the whole farm really work the way that I want it to. So I'm so excited and I'm really so excited to go back and do another barn series video. I love doing those and I love sharing any part of building the barn with you guys. If you guys are really excited just like I am for the Dutch doors, make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, if I chance to my post notification shout out, today's shout out goes to all you guys. I love you and I'll see you in the next one.